that you just can't do. Now, number one, we got to have a fear of God. This is what I call your survivor kit. Amen. Do I have any survivors in here? When you're in a situation, the only thing you got to do is make sure you fear God. I don't care if your whole world is caving in on you. Bills are due. Amen. They're repossessing the car. The house no late. Children in trouble. Body sick. If you still got the fear of God, all you got to do is sit there and watch the clock. Come on, somebody. And you need to start letting people know in your life when they see all kinds of storms in your life that you are watching the clock right now. Why? Because after a while, Jesus is going to come by and see about it. How I many you know when you're his child, he's not going to leave you in a situation too long? Uh-uh, no, he's not going to leave you in that oven longer than you need to be in there. But I came to tell you, if truth were to be told, sometimes we need to go through some stuff. Y'all ain't heard me right there. Come on, don't get quiet on me now. If the truth were to be told, if you're going to be developed as a Christian, if you're going to grow, sometimes you got to be squeezed sometimes. you got to find yourself under pressure sometimes. And if you don't want to go through no pressure, if you don't want to go through no squeezing, then you don't want to be the person God is trying to make you out to be. Because sometimes you can't come to yourself till you get to the end of yourself. And sometimes while you're rebuking the devil, it's not the devil that's coming against you. Sometimes it is God trying to get stuff out of your life that you know you don't need. Because as I said before, you see right now, but God see down the road. He don't want you to disqualify yourself from the blessing that he got for you. Anybody expecting God to do something? Number one, I had a fear of God while I was going through that sickness. While all this stuff was going on in my body, didn't, couldn't explain it. One thing I knew, I had a fear of God. And I feel like, God, as long as I'm fearing you and serving you, God, I know you got to come and see about me. I'm your child. I'm preaching to hundreds of people every week. Now you got me out here on Front Street. Yeah, and people are watching me now. Here I am telling people that you're a good God and telling people that you're Jehovah Rapha. Telling people that you can do anything but fail. Telling people that healing is the children's bread. But I heard a whisper in my ear and said, Steve, you was made for this. And I came to tell some of you in this place today, what you're going through, you was made to go through that. No, no, see, there's some stuff in you that would never come out of you had you not gone through some stuff. And listen, y'all, this is what we really should shout. Some of our children would not reach their destiny had they not gone through some stuff themselves. Because you know how we fall. You know how we give them always more stuff than they really need. Sometimes we're the ones who messed them up. And God said, I got to come and get them out of a situation that you have to put them in. When I get through with them, they're going to appreciate being alive. When I get through with them, they're going to appreciate having the freedom. Come on, somebody. You can't appreciate being up until you've been down. But how many of you once you've been down? Thank you. 
everything. And everybody that's called you friend is not your friend. I'm going to say it, amen. I'm going to say it until I'm blue in the face. Everybody that called you friend is not your friend. Your friend circle need to be very small. You need to love on everybody, but your circle can't be that big. Hallelujah, even Jesus had a Judas in his circle. Come on, somebody. You got to know if Jesus didn't have 100% participation, what makes you think all these my BFFs? Next question. Next question. Amen, somebody. Why? Because my feet. 